Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the mod revolutions. What is it? 1820 to 48, I can't exactly remember. Anyways, we have a very crucial battle because the French have invaded at Turin in the winter time, and so we're preparing to defend ourselves. The problem is, of course, that the French units are quite larger than ours. They have 240 in theirs. And we have a hundred and sixty. They've also got more cannons, more cavalry, more everything. Um, what I have though is I have my defensive positions. What I've done to try to protect myself is I've placed these horse barriers basically everywhere and also in front of the cannons and in front of this side here, sort of in a half circle to protect it, to protect the cannons. And then next to the cannons we've got one of these sort of... Um, um, uh, protection trench barrier things uh, put up with this, uh, this to guard from incoming fire, artillery fire and so forth. Um, and we've got a number of houses that we could possibly set up in. But first we need to take out especially these guns on this side because those are threatening to all the houses on this side. Um, but there, I, it, especially the town hall I think could be a, a good position to hold. But um, I'll have to use my my hussars first to ride up and kill off the cannons. But here we go. Let's go ahead and start this. First things first is we're going to get these three to march away from that front. And they're kind of going to come back and be reserved behind the cannons. We're going to get this unit to move inside and... Perfectly, the enemy cavalry, or the French cavalry, is now moving towards the center, leaving the cannons to be destroyed. So we're going to see about if we're able to quickly ride up and destroy them here. And we can see the French army advancing. Uh, interestingly enough, they have the the colors of the, 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 the symbol of the French monarchy, um, but... Def they're not definitely uh, monarchist troops and they've got the tricolor uh, in front of the line as well which is uh, strange here we go we need to get these columns out of air get them into line and fall behind the the rest of the units so cavalry took a bit of hits there from uh, the militia. Oh, they've actually limbered their guns. Charge, man, charge. Charge for the guns. We'll destroy the French guns. And then we might go on to destroy this militia unit. Follow that. Follow these guys and destroy them before they're able to uh, start opening fire upon us. Okay, first of all, it looks like they're they're about to get into lines. We're going to move away. But we have some units opening fire from the town here. It looks like they're firing from the house. We need to get another unit here to plug this gap. And also, the uh, I think the round shot fire is not going to be that impressive against the enemy. So we're going to switch to canister. We've got these reinforcements of these uh, units that were in front. They're now going to be pushed up to uh, be quickly moved into position to aid our troops. They're really not pushing a lot on the uh, left side into town. So we definitely have a possibility here of gaining the upper hand on the enemy. So we're going to see about pushing out some units. get these two guys to come out here and fight the militia the, the uh, horsemen are gonna come back see about oh, striking no, these guys in the back oh shit what's my artillery this artillery unit was uh, entirely killed somehow I guess the uh, 
Chevalier managed to uh, get them before uh, they were able to shoot them down, which is a problem. And it looks like the enemy is going to charge the guns. So we need extra troops up there to protect them. Start barraging, and the general is needed over here. I'm banking on the artillery doing a lot of my work here to uh, to smash the enemy with canister. I think we can fire on that one pretty effectively. Hurry up and open fire upon the enemy. Where's the general? Oh, he's on his way. Hurry up and get into position. Oh, they're charging. Gonna tell the uh, cannon crew to fall back. We're gonna need all these men to turn in like this now as the French are coming in for um, a bayonet charge. Basi basically a massive bayonet charge. But we got our general here. Would be nice if I could take out the enemy's general. Because that would be needed. Let's get my hussars ready to do that. We're getting shot in the back here. And these guys need to move up. Um, we're doing kind of fine over here and kind of fine over here. Not so much over here. And right here there's a massive fight going on. I'm going to go ahead and inspire this one. Let's see. going to go ahead and inspire this one. So our men are actually holding uh, in a way that they actually are able to fire into the melee of the French. But I think the, just the superior number of the French is going to be telling pretty darn soon. And especially here where we're uh, exchanging fire. Um, Maybe we can push on this one and kind of break down the French. Shit, this house is about to go boom. Um, we don't want to lose that unit, so I'm going to tell them to leave. My hussars are coming on the fire. We're going to move up. Have my men fire on the enemy general. And then charge. Seemingly, the enemies. Uh, light horsemen are a lot better than us. We're gonna need to charge after him. For some reason, my horsemen are really slow. Shit, this line is falling apart. He needs to fall back. And this is also kind of falling apart as well at this point. So it's not going well. Oh, this unit has broken. But we've won on this side. What I want to do is I want to bring all the troops in from the town and I want them back here now and I want to reclaim my guns as soon as bloody possible looks my my charge against the enemy general has failed and now they're firing at my general god damn it we need something to open fire on this side but I want you know what no we'll throw them in Throw them in to support that unit. Yes, you might just as well ride on to my, my stakes and die a mass. So that saved a lot of effort on my part, killing that horseman. Oh, they're, they're about to break through here, the French. Form into line and help. Oh, they're about to flank us. I need two units. Our men are running for to quickly move over there and open fire upon the enemy. The main fight there is about to fall apart. Our men are falling back from the fight. Come on, shoot them down. We need more men. We've got three extra units coming in. It might be enough to send the enemy off, but holy shit, did this cost us a lot. The French light cavalry was able to fire much, so much quicker than our infantry was, or our uh, cavalry units was, which I was kind of surprised though. Let's see if we can get a charge in and uh, 
break the enemy down. Okay, so we got another unit retreating, but we got two ready to take its place against the French Fusiliers. So we really need to sign some kind of peace agreement with the French because in the long run this is definitely not going to work. Get the, uh, get the guys back on the artillery, see if we can smash the enemy's uh, general. I want you to use canister and start with barrage. Keep it up lads, hold the line. Gonna put the general behind the house because it looks like he's uh, kind of coming under fire here. I want you to fire canister on this line, if you please. Before they get too close and they start to open fire upon us. Okay, so it looks like the artillery is kind of broken. At least one cannon is sort of-ish trying to fire, but it looks like, no, that's not going to happen really, is it? One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Oh, yes, there we went, yes. And the enemy general died, and we were able to fire off at least one shot into the French line there. Hopefully this will be enough. Pronto di cannoni! Charge them! Counter charge them! See if we have enough to break the enemy line infantry and looks like we did. Interesting charge of the French infantry there. And we seem to have won the main fight. Thing is, we're gonna have to go all the way up there and deal with those two 12 pounders. We have one guy in, in charge of one cannon. Shit, that was close on the general. We need to open fire on, we need to help this unit out up here. So these two are gonna hurry to attack there. And we've got that one cannon crew guy. And we've got these two units. Holy shit, did this took this took a lot of effort trying to hold back the French. And the thing is I, I'm already running into problems right now, and we got so many of the larger nations declaring war on us okay this fight is not really gonna work is it so these guys kind of need to fall back and these guys needs to hurry up same with this one looks like they're actually targeting my general because the cannon fire is really coming this way I'm hoping that I don't need to actually fight the cannons that if I shoot down the infantry, the uh, the cannons will surrender. But I'm not entirely sure if I have the manpower to force um, that kind of scenario to happen. Our men are running, sir. There's a lot of dead bodies here. We held, we had a good fight against the French here on the cannons. We're gonna be able to flank the French here. Keep it up lads. We can still do this. The enemy's reforming. I want this unit to hurry up behind them and these guys need to come even further forwards. We have a great advantage in the fact that our general is still alive. Shit, which unit? This one. Hide behind the house. There we go, they broke. Shit. 
charge the last enemy unit. And destroy them. Come on, surround them. With this done. Wait, where did this? Oh, this one has come back to fight with us. Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the marching column out here. So we come into the side of the cannons and hopefully that will stop most of the cannons being able to fire. And then we're gonna have to uh, charge them. But that's gonna take a while. Oh shit, the French are back. Hurry, into line and open fire, destroy them. It's very important that the general stay alive, so we're gonna keep him out of harm's way. Shit. Run into the house. God damn it. Um, let's see. The 49 unit will run into the house. Possibly, that could break them completely. The morale of this unit is not good. 30%. I want this guy march out here, form into line. We are able to inflict some damage on the French from a very defensive position here in the house. Nice, we get some nice kills from the house here on the enemy unit. However, it's gonna take it's, it's taking too long for this unit to actually form up and they're losing too many men. So I'm worried they're gonna actually break. Yes, and they did because they did some strange formation thing there at the end. And no! The house is now falling apart. No, the house was completely destroyed. And the entire unit was destroyed with it. Leaving only one unit. And the general left. The thing is, if this battle falls apart, this is, I don't have that many full stacks. As if it falls apart. It's not a crucial it's not a crucial area that we need to take. Um, for the victory conditions. But losing a territory like this to the French um, is going to be telling that we're uh, kind of going to lose the uh, the war. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to attack these cannons with just one line infantry unit. At least we stand ready. I'm gonna hold fire and hope fully. I'm not entirely sure if the enemy will stop ex at extreme range. You know what, we'll need to fire first and then run back. It's probably the best plan. Okay, so we fired. We killed a few of them. And then we're gonna stop back there. What if I move my general into their flank, see if maybe that can unnerve the French line. In the long run, our line cannot stand against them. Fall back. Crap, that's not gonna work. Uh, we need to capture a house or something. If we want to uh, try to win this. Holy shit. There's no way I'm gonna... Fuck, there's no way I'm gonna win this battle. This house, but it doesn't have... It has only one window towards where the enemy is gonna come from. But we need that protection. 
Come on, hurry up. Get inside. Crap, I'm not entirely sure if we'll make it inside before the enemy is able to open fire upon us. Taken the building, sir. Ooh. Yes, we were able to uh, get inside. But we're not taking positions to fire upon the enemy. Let's see if I can get them to uh, come towards us. Kind of provoked them a bit. Open fire! Problem is that we have too few men firing out of the house. Come on, open fire upon them. Ah, oh shit, they gave up. No! They lost one guy. And they're retreating. Shit, and now they're encouraged because they have. Uh, Superior numbers. These guys need to be. These guys need to come back. The brave cannon is gonna have to charge together with the general. Okay, so the brave cannon guy is gonna come from the front, the cavalry is gonna come from the back. Charge! No! He failed his charge. And here comes the general. Come on, general. This was the first general I recruited. Does he stand a chance against the might of all these enemies? I don't think so. 54 versus... No! The general died. And so kind of did the Italian course as well. Holy shit. Valiant defeat. And here we have the numbers. So it was a defeat and our great army was destroyed. 500 Frenchmen remain at Turin. And now they're able to continue forwards. There's no way we're going to be able to hold that. So we're going to retreat. And even more French are on the way. And there we have it. Luca Matarazzi. Heroic death at the Battle of Turin against the French bastards which, are, which have decided to invade us. Um, we do however have an army up here. But it's going to be stuck in the snow if we try to march it down. And I'm not entirely sure if it will have if it will have time to reach uh, or it will if it will reach us in time to actually go down and save Milan doesn't look like it so it may be better if it stays in Switzerland for now and at the same time over here we got two Austrian full stacks on the way moving down to attack us at Venice and I've got no troops within range to help them out so single units gonna try to have to hold them off uh, on the upside though we uh, actually get quite a bit of income now 3000 plus but look at how many nations are at war with me so we got Austrians the French the Bavarians the Prussians Great Britain Russia and the Kingdom of Sardinia so it's really not going well for us. Anyways, I think this will be the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.